Hello, welcome to this lesson in Mastering Statistics. Here we're going to learn how to do hypothesis testing for population variance. So quick recap, we have done hypothesis testing for population means. That was broken up into two categories when we had small samples, less than 30, and large samples, greater than 30. For the small samples, we did use the t-distribution, and for the large samples, we ended up using the normal distribution. And then we did population, uh, we did a hypothesis testing for population proportions. We did that very recently. In that case, we used the normal distribution. All right, and in there, in the middle of all of that, we learned how to use p-values to do our hypothesis testing. Now we're going to retrace our steps, much like we did for confidence intervals, and we're going to be doing our population uh, hypothesis testing for variance. Okay? Now, I expect that you have been following me through this statistics course for every volume and every topic up until now, and if you remember, we've done confidence intervals several sections ago, many, many sections ago, and when we did confidence intervals with variance, we ended up using a new type of distribution called the chi-square distribution. It's that fancy x with the square up there. So if you haven't uh, studied confidence intervals with me, I highly recommend that you go back to confidence intervals when we were dealing with variance because I introduced the chi-square distribution there. We talked a lot about it and such. I'll give you a quick recap of it here, but just remember that there's a lot more detailed explanation and usage uh, for, for those problems that we did back in the confidence interval. I'm kind of assuming that you're uh, comfortable or that you've been exposed to the chi-square distribution because I've covered it for those types of problems in the past. All right, so I told you there'd be a parallel between confidence intervals and hypothesis testing, and I think I've delivered that to you. When we're dealing with means, we end up using uh, either a t distribution or normal distribution. When we deal with uh, hypothesis testing for proportions, we use a normal distribution. When we deal with variance, we use this thing called the chi square distribution. So it's very similar to what we've done in the past. Now remember, if you haven't studied chi square too much or if it's been a while, the chi square distribution, it has a general bell shape to it, but the main difference, there's a couple of main differences between chi square distribution and the other ones that we've been using. The biggest one is that the chi square distribution is not symmetric. I'm going to say that again, it's not symmetric. So the normal distribution is a nice bell curve centered at zero, and the left and the right side of zero are basically mirror images of one another. And the same is true of a, of a T distribution, as far as being a mirror image uh, symmetrical. But the chi-square distribution is not, and that changes a few things in how we have to look things up in the table uh, here. Uh, and also, the chi-square distribution, it's similar to the T distribution in that when you look it up for the table in the back of the book, you have degrees of freedom, right, that run down the left-hand side, and then what you're, what you're really looking up is the area to the right, well, you're, you're providing the area to the right, and you read off a value.